Joining us now from Grand Rapids is Donald Trump Jr. By the way, we want to give a shout out to WXMI Fox 17 for helping us get this shot up. Uh, Don, great to see you. Thanks for joining us. You've been surrounded since the moment you walked in that building today. Um, but you and your family have been through over two years now of never ending attack, speculation, collusion, jail, all, all of it. And yet, no collusion, no yep. obstruction in the end. And I, I want to get first your reaction, your general reaction. Well, listen, it's great. But mo most importantly, I really, it, while it's been an incredible vindication for me, for my father, for our entire family, uh, it, it's really been a great vindication for all those incredible, hardworking Americans, the deplorables, who stuck with us through all of the nonsense, through all of the lies sold to us by CNN, MSNBC, you know, the tinfoil hat brigade that is Adam Schiff and Eric Swalwell and those clowns. Uh, you know, it's really nice. And, Sean, when you look at what my father's accomplished in the last two years, when you look at his winning track record, despite the largest witch hunt, the greatest hoax ever perpetrated on the American people, imagine what he can do now with that cloud off of his back. Uh, I think it's going to be a big deal, and I think America's going to win because of it. You know, and, you know, you talk about tinfoil hat conspiracies. That's for TV, and yeah, Adam Schiff. You know, but now you got, oh, let's start all over again. You got six to eight congressional committees. They want to drag everybody back. By the way, a lot of people can't afford attorneys and their lives and the stress and the pressure of, you know, being grilled on the same issue. Now, this will be the fifth investigation. Well, Sean, I've done 27 hours and change myself on a 20 minute meeting. For example, that's about three times more than Hillary Clinton spent on Benghazi while Secretary of State. I was a civilian on a campaign. That just goes to show you the double standard. But I was blessed because I could afford lawyers to do this. Not everyone could spend seven figures defending themselves. And that's all this has been. This has been a way for the left and their media lackeys to try to drive people into ground, try to drive those supporters into our ground. And that's why this has been such a great vindication. And it's so important for us. You know, again, my father's track record record speaks for itself, but he's going to do even more now that he has that monkey off his back. You know, when you, when you talk about um, all that everyone goes through, and here's the other big story, is there was Russia collusion. You know, I, I, I have an ensemble cast on this show, and for two straight years with real evidence, we have pointed out a rigged investigation into Hillary, uh, lying and committing fraud on a FISA court. We have pointed out again and again and again that people kno knew from the beginning that this was unverified, but then they used it to spy on the campaign, deny the constitutional rights of Carter Page. What, what do you think needs to be done to ensure, as your father said on this program last night, this never happens to another president? Well, listen, they have to get to the bottom of it. No one wants to move on more than I do. I'd love to see bipartisanship. I'd love to see the Democrats get on board and maybe work on infrastructure, maybe work for the American people for a change, rather than just trying to take out someone who's done an incredible job. If the Democrats had actual real policies that they could run on and win on, you know, maybe they should do that, but they don't. So maybe they should get on board with these winning policies for America and do that. But you've had the Comeys of the world, the Strzoks, the McCabes, John Brennan, the former head of the CIA, going on there saying, well, we're aware of this collusion. It's been going on for you. Oh, guess what? Oh, I got bad information. I'm sorry. I've been saying it and screaming it like a lunatic for two years. And all of a sudden, oh, you got bad information. Move, let's move on. We have to get to the bottom of it, Sean, because this can't happen again. This has been a stain on our republic. It's a blight on democracy and our Constitution, and it can't be allowed to happen again to either side. This is, you know, a partisan issue. This is something it should never happen again. It's the greatest hoax ever perpetrated on the American people, and it was done by Hillary Clinton, the DNC, and 93 percent of the mainstream media. The media has done irreparable damage to themselves and their reputation. The two or three people, even the two or three people on the left that tried to report it honestly and said, you know, maybe we're getting a little in over our skis, they got killed, they got lambasted for the last few years. They're the only ones that have been vindicated. It's going to take a long time to heal, and the only way we're going to heal is if we know how this farce actually started. Well, I think when you...
Listen, if you deleted 33,000 emails, cleaned your hard drive in the, in the process of all of this, and busted up your devices or had an aid bust them up with hammers and removed SIM cards, oh, and then if you committed a fraud before a FISA court, omit telling that, that the opposition party paid for this dossier, it was never verified, the author of the dossier doesn't stand by it, but you present it to a court not once but four times. The bulk of information, the Grassley Grand Memo, yeah. was the lying Hillary Russian dossier. Russian, of all things. Correct. O only Hillary Clinton and maybe Jesse Smollett could get away with that kind of farce, Sean. Yeah. You know, you mentioned something about your father's success. Record low unemployment. He was talking about it tonight. Uh, African Americans, Hispanic Americans, Asian Americans, women in the workplace, youth yeah. unemployment. Nearly, we're going on five and a half million new jobs now. Uh, economic growth we haven't seen in, de in over a decade. And I have never, not one time, watched on any of these other so called news networks. Any reporting on this great story that has taken millions off of food stamps and out of poverty and created a ladder to success? Well, Sean, it doesn't fit the narrative. It doesn't work. You know, the business guy who left a billionaire lifestyle to do this for the American people, that's not a story the Democrats want. You know, they need a Joe Biden. They need a swamp creature in there to keep perpetuating the nonsense, to keep perpetuating their failed policies, and frankly, to take their failed policies even further by now implement vast, you know, aspects of socialism into that policy. You know, it's failed a thousand times, but they're going to get it right this time, Sean. You know, I, I've known your dad and your family for a lot of years. Your dad over two decades, and uh, I, I know that this this has to wear on you. What was the toughest moment for you? You know, the reality is, as a tried and true American, you know, being called a traitor every day, having you know people chime in on social media, well, your kids are going to enjoy seeing you behind bars. I mean, day in and day out, you know, it's pretty brutal. Now, I know it's nonsense because I was actually there, but it still gets to you. It still wears on you, especially when you take sort of your patriotism as seriously as I do. And so, you know, that was rough, even though you know it's nonsense. Unfortunately, with life, you still have to deal with nonsense. Uh, but now that that's over, other than, you know, a few of the lunatics, uh, you know, on the left, it's pretty exciting, and we can go back to winning. You know, the sad thing is they'll never admit they're wrong. The sad thing is, you know, I remember, for example, Don Not Jr. Even a made little a bit. call. There's no culpability because on their side, Sean, you don't need to because there's no accountability. There, you don't need accountability to keep doing what you do. They just do it because it's part of the narrative and everyone's in on it. Uh, you know, my father, I mean, he was talking about the deep state back in 2016, and most people are like, I don't know if that's real. If the last two years has shown us anything, is that is very real and very alive, and we are combating it hard, and he's going to keep doing that. You know, we've had a great ensemble here, and we've been right the whole time, and the media's been wrong the whole time, and I, I know they're never going to stop. They're just going to move on to the next series of lies and misinformation, but I don't, as you say, think they ever get their trust back again. Uh, all right, here's a question a lot of people want to know. You know, you've been out on the stump a lot lately. A lot of people, big crowds you're drawing. Um, do you ever think about it? Maybe one day you want to run. Yeah, look, right now, I'll never rule anything out. I do enjoy it. I like being in the fight. I like being in the mix. I like seeing, you know, the difference it's making to real working class families all over the country, Sean. And, you know, I get that I'm, you know, the son of a billionaire from New York City, but I think everyone knows, and anyone who's seen me on the campaign trail knows, I have friends in flyover country. I've spent time with them over the years, hunting, fishing, competitive shooting, all of those things. I mean, I actually spend much more time here than I do at the rubber chicken charity dinner circuit in New York City. These are my people. I get it. So, you know, watching it make a difference to them, watching them, uh, you know, recapture their American dream, that American dream that's been exported uh, to foreign countries, most of whom hate our guts for the last few decades. That's a huge deal for me, and I see what my father's doing, and I'm just damn proud as an American to see those results, and I'm going to keep fighting for him. I won't rule it out for myself, but first things first, we're going to let him finish up strong. All right, Don Jr., thank you for being with us. And, uh, yeah, took uh, an FBI investigation, two congressional investigations, now the Mueller report. And these insane tinfoil hat people want to continue. Thank you for being with us tonight. Thank you very much, Sean. Great speaking to you.